Hello everybody, it's Brandon here, and welcome back to another Modern Warfare, or I should say Warzone Black Ops Cold War Integration type of thing video, I don't know. Um, it's it's kind of confusing these past few days. Today I'm going to show you the quickest way to level up, and ideally, if the mathematics are done correctly, get Prestige 1 in 3 hours. Ideally though, okay? It's not a guarantee, but it's ideally if everything's done correctly, and perfectly, and flawlessly. Now, the reason I'm bringing this video up is because I've been asked several times over with my friends list and everything in between, how come you play this game twice as less as I do, but yet you have almost double or triple my rank? And it's simply because what I'm sharing with you today, and again, I haven't uploaded it before, I've considered it, but until, like, since this new update reset everybody to rank one, I thought this is a perfect time for me to tell you all the secret. Now, I'm going to get right into this. There's two methods, and here's the first one that I'm talking about. You have to have owned Modern Warfare in the past, and you have to have at least had gone to maybe rank 60 or 65 basically you need to play long enough to get past 55 and get some officer challenges done now the reason why i mentioned this is because this method revolves around the trials and if you go to a certain officer rank throughout seasons zero through six you're granted a ticket tickets can be redeemed for trials and so forth now past season two season two and on this method works for me every single time now what you want to do is you want to take those tickets you owned and a double weapon xp doesn't matter if it's from a Mountain Dew thing, if it's from a Battle Pass, if it's from a bundle, if it's from a challenge, whatever it is. Double XP, take the ticket, go to this race, the the Grasna Hill, or sorry, not Grasna Hill, the uh, Grasna Raid. Go to that ATV race and just get sub 54 seconds. Very simple, very quick, very painless. You can get it done. My record is 49.1 personally. You might be able to get lower than that if you take the best lines. Basically, you want to get it done as quickly as possible so that way there's enough time to keep using tickets over and over. I've been playing this game since Season 0. Personally, I'm probably going to have more tickets than someone who just played it since Season 3. I have, I think, like 160 or something when it started out. It doesn't matter. If you have 3 or 4 tickets, this is going to work perfectly for you. Take the best lines. Take that double XP. And since as you prestige on, about maybe rank 46 or so is when it stops becoming effective. But anything before that, it's gonna, you're going to level up like crazy. Hot kicks everything in between. One race of the double XP, if you're starting at level 1, will probably put you from level 1 to level 8 or 9. And if you keep repeating this and repeating this and repeating this, it's going to get slower to level up. Keep that in mind. But once you get to like level 47, it's just time to stop using that altogether. Or if you want, you could keep using it, though it's very slow once you get to prestiging. So since you're at level 47 by now, you probably need to switch over to plunder with that hour XP token. Usually we have hour XP because they try to give you that the most to stay in the game. So the second method, here's the transition to the next one, and this is more obvious. Now, what people don't know about this obvious method is that, yes, you're supposed to go into plunder for this method. But here's the thing, you do not want to get too many kills, and you don't want to get too many contracts at the same time, and here's why. When you are assessed on your XP, 4 XP I should say, and plunder at the end of your match, there are two different distinct XP rankings. There's combat XP, and then there's looting XP. Two different things, and the contract XP goes with looting, but it doesn't necessarily go with the combat. Now, for instance, you can get 12 or 13 kills in plunder, which is very possible for even an average Joe to get, but you cannot go for contracts, and you'll lose a lot in your looting XP compared to your combat. On the other hand, you can go for contracts but not go for kills, and you still suffer there. So the goal here is to try to get anywhere from 3 to 7 kills, whilst you get anywhere from 2 to 6 contracts. And the best contracts for you to go to, I've found out, are scavengers and recon, and here's why. Scavenger contracts, in case you didn't know, every box in the game that you open, you get 25 XP full. With the double XP token equipped, you can get 50 XP, right? So every single box you open up by the end of the game, from the time you start to the end, you'll get about maybe 4,000, 5,000 XP, which equates to, with that double, 8,000 or 10,000 XP by the end. And not to mention those scavenger contracts, they add more boxes to your total, and they show you where they are, so it even adds 50 more, so that's three more 50s because it's three boxes. You can have up to 12,000 just from looting with that, but keep in mind, you still need to get kills some way. So what I usually do, I usually land military base on a solo with no squad fill. That way, whenever you have a squad fill off, if you do die, you don't respawn somewhere random. And it works with duos, but it's more random, but you want to make sure squad fills off and plunder. Now, when you do go into plunder, again, try to get anywhere from 3 to 7 kills. More is great as long as you're still looting and stuff, alright? Now, the thing is, if you lose your cash, it does not really hurt your XP, because that XP that you got from that cash you accumulated is still with you. Keep that in mind. Do not be so concerned about dying or depositing things or whatever it is. Keep all that stuff in mind. Though you do get XP for depositing in a helicopter, that's not your main objective. It's not worth trying to risk everything else 
You want to maintain a healthy ratio of contracts on killing, like I said, 3 to 7 and the 2 to 6 rule. Now, recons, on the other hand, are also great because unlike many contracts, they actually stack up, not just in money, but they are one of the only contracts that stack up in XP as you go. Every recon you complete, you get slightly more XP than the last, whereas if you had a most wanted or a supply run, it would be the same amount of XP every time, no matter how many times you did it. In case you didn't notice that, this little yellow number that says the XP you get, you'll notice it keeps going up every single time you get a new recon, not that case whenever you have a most wanted, so keep that in mind. But that's basically the next way you go in case scavs are in the area and you want to kill people and get contracts. Go for the kills, go for the recons, you're pretty much good to go. Now, of course, if you win a Warzone game, which it's very easy to do, especially on Rebirth Island, I think I've cracked the code on Rebirth Island lately, um, to win the game, you get a shit ton of XP for it, but even getting top five is pretty much just as much as a win, which is kind of weird. Um, but getting in the top five in a normal Warzone match, like an actual Warzone lobby, will give you pretty much almost the same amount as the winner does. And it's kind of weird how that works. You don't get extra XP, like much extra XP for winning, but you do get that stat on the leaderboard, so that's that. But try to aim for top five in Warzone. Again, make sure that you're getting more contracts this time, because getting kills, unless you like to rush people, that's great. Balance out your contracts with your scavs, your recons. Recons are more of an incentive, because they share the next circle. Keep trying to go that way. Again, stay on the scavs, stay on the recons, and try to get any kills in between if you can. But that being said, these are the best ways, and this is all assuming you have some double weapon XP tokens. And for the first method, we assume you have trials. I'm sure that if you've played Modern Warfare long enough, by accident, you've likely have some tickets that you could be using lying around. And I showed you earlier in the gameplay, I'll show you again, how to access them by going to the multiplayer tab, going to the trials, pressing R1 or whatever it is to Xbox and PC to go to Season 2, Go to the quad race on Grazna the Hills, or Grazna Raid, sorry, sorry, it's just mixing it up all the time with the Warzone location. Complete it, keep doing it over and over again until either you run out of tickets, you're satisfied with your level, and you can go for there. Now, I do not know if this, this prestige or, or your level will carry over into the next season. I'd assume it wouldn't, or you'll get an icon. I really don't know anything about that, because the way that Treyarch handles things as of recently has been a very big disappointment. Uh, I don't know what the prestige keys are going to be used for. If they're like how it used to be, we could have permanent unlocks. I don't know. You keep your weapons. What are the prestige keys used for? Someone tell me that. I really don't know because I don't have Cold War. Uh, but that being said, hopefully you are going to do well with this. If you have any questions, if you have no trial tokens, again, use the second method. Even though it's more obvious, it's better to have the double weapon XP, whether it's from a trial, a promotion, a battle pass, whatever it is. Any questions, let me know down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. With that being said, I'm Sideblocks, and I'm signing out. Take care and stay safe out there.